different kinds of, of uh, surfaces and, and painting and so forth. And uh, why don't you take over and just, you know, uh, Naka can tell you more about what's actually going on here. Uh, thank you, uh, Rick. Naga uh, Govindaraj. Let me first introduce the team uh, responsible for Project Gusta. I'm Bill. And, uh, I'm Nelson. Um, and these guys have been working very hard on building the algorithms behind Project Gustav. Project Gustav is a realistic digital painting experience. It shows how when you combine the power of natural user interfaces and the processing power of today's PCs, you can create a very natural and rich painting experience. So what do I mean by natural painting experience? So in a real world, uh, depending upon how you hold this brush, how you uh, mix the colors on the palette and load the colors onto the brush and how the brush deforms when it comes in contact with the canvas. So all of these things um, are very natural ways in which people interact with the canvas in the painting system. Now, um, when a stroke is formed, there are several aspects um, which uh, happen underneath. For instance, um, how the paint particles get pushed around when they come in contact with the brush bristles or how the brush bristles deform when they come in contact with the fibers of the canvas section. Now thanks to the processing capabilities of today's PCs, we are able to develop efficient algorithms which can simulate most aspects of these uh, complex phenomena in a plausible manner in real time. Now when you combine the simulation of the real world with the natural user interfaces, it provides a very immersive painting experience. Now, um, let me... So you just get these really, really, really... <laughs> Amazing. <coughs> Amazing blends and strokes that turn into something that's like really, really pretty convincing. Oil. Oil is complicated. So <laughs> this is pretty awesome because it simplifies things a lot. I heard the guys next door were talking about Nui and this kind of stuff, and that's like, that's definitely true. It's like, the the degree of control and finesse that they've put in, if I scale up here and start to make marks on this pair, you can see how the brush head is the brush head is changing to get just that right stroke nuance. So that, the degree of sensitivity that they've put into this is just like it's kind of the closest thing to just mapping one to one, you know, what's going on in my head to what comes out on the screen. Oh yeah. And this is my other favorite part, is getting right in there, check out the brush detail, getting right in there, and just messing it all up with my thumb. <laughs> Bring this stuff out, you get, you get it mixing, blending in with the charcoal. Is this derivative of what's on Photoshop? Is there somehow calculations to it somehow? More refined? We've written this from scratch all ourselves, so it's, um, in terms of actual code, it's, there's nothing, nothing we've got to do up here. But, um, no, I know that. Yeah.